just seconds away. The Penguins take possession to get this one underway. Pittsburgh's on the attack. And he totally whiffs on that one. Looks to get the puck over to Fox. Here's a pass to the middle. Couldn't complete the pass. Tremendous stop with the blocker by Jari. Gets the full use, trying to gain a step. All alone. The signs to think about it. Too many bodies in the way. Let's get the call. Anytime you lose position on your opponent, this can happen. He gets the sticks out in the feet of his opponent, and guess what? He gets the tripping call. Panarin out there on this power play, and you know he'll be looking to use his zone ability to help the team score here, guys. Let's see how things play out. Trojek's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Moves it to Panarin. Shuts him down. Well, a nice save by the goaltender, and even better is that he redirects the puck to the corner to safety. Just slide to the net. Moves it quickly over to Lafreniere. All sorts of pressure here in the offensive end. He's really turned up a notch now. And they send it down the ice. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. The Rangers are on the attack. And called for the offside. We'll get a face-off. Another big face-off looming as this power play rolls on here tonight. New York's come up with possession after that neutral zone draw. Takes a shot, and that goes off a body. Sends it down low. What a steal in his own end. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. Drives to the paint. Pencil standing up, ready to go. Here's a chance to move the puck outside the zone. Both sides are evened up now as the power play expires. Power plays dictate games, and this one did not, and the coach will not. Here's a high danger opportunity. Here's a shot. Oh, what a stop denying that rush. And he slides it quickly to Sabinashad. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. Jari's last save was absolutely incredible, James. Not only was it pure desperation and athleticism, but I'm not sure how he can stretch that far. I think he's been doing gymnastics in his off time. Kako stick handling in his own zone. Moves it around along the half wall. Handles it over to Smith. Pittsburgh's in now. We got a whistle, penalty coming up. The Rangers are being called for tripping. force zone ability is his strength and balance when skating with the puck. He rarely gives it up when getting jostled by defenders. Panarin's known for being a playmaker and using his third Well, talk about a friendly ping right there. Oh, uh, yeah, it's all about the bounces, isn't it, James? And you got to get the right one, and that one is in his favor. On a deflected shot, everyone always talks about the stick positioning. How about the timing to get to the slot area as well? And the ability to just tap it down and redirect it. Pittsburgh's finally opened the scoring here in the first. Now let's see how both teams respond, right, Cheryl? Yeah, and I think this is a product of just playing the game differently and having a different mindset. They started the game, they were hesitant, almost as if you're playing just to keep it close and not to lose. You gotta play to win the game, and they've really opened it up in the latter half of this period. Slittering B! And that goes off a stick and off target. The Rangers are across the line and into the offensive end. There's the whistle as the play was offside. Past the halfway mark of this period, 1-0 is where we sit at this point. Trocek's won it. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. Lafreniere is close to finding a hole there and just an extra move. Thought he had a little more time and space than he actually had in the play dies. Picked 
picked up along the wall by Smith. Quick pass to Malkin. Graves takes the puck. Dishes it to Carlson. And he serves it across to O'Connor. Trying to get back on the attack now. Takes a shot. What the stop. Ned is knocked off. We'll get a face off here. The Rangers must be feeling a little snake bitten, trailing in the late stages of the first. New York's got it, and they're on the attack. Great read on the block. Pittsburgh's got it across the line. The Rangers gain control of the puck against the wall. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Way too much congestion blocks that. Across the line along the left wall. New York's got the puck in their own end. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Shot! Oh, can't get it to go! Well, there's a good scoring chance. It's a quick release shot, but unable to convert. Well, there's the horn ending period number one, but this one is far from over. Lots more action to go. Second period is just around the corner. And we are just moments away from the start of period number two. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Play whistle dead, offside the call. Lots of time left in this period. Pittsburgh's up one zip. New York's won the faceoff at center. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. New York's got it in their own zone. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Passes out front. What a chance, but they can't connect. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. Getzel's getting called for slashing. here on the man advantage. Well, a timely power play at this juncture of the game, James, to even it up. This is huge for this power play. Your big stars, they need to shine. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. The Penguins will take it from the back of the net. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. Dumps it in. New York's got a hold of it along the wall. Takes control of the puck. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. And that's off a stick. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Latang. Grabs the puck here in their own end. Shot, and that one's turned aside. He is so difficult to beat when he drops into that butterfly positioning and gets square to the puck, keeping his arms tight to his body. Man, it is tough to find the back of the net. Gensel's almost back on the ice. Puck slid down the ice. The Penguins are back to even strength as the PK unit comes up large. Specialty teams are critical, especially when you're down by a goal and you have an opportunity to get the equalizer, and they just weren't able to generate anything on that one. And that's a tough one to take as they remain down by a goal at even strength. Great read with the stick. Moves the puck. Graves has it in the defensive end. Mulkin's got it in the offensive zone. Stayed by the goaltender who stayed with it on the redirect. Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away time, you want to take space? Goaltender does it, makes a save. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. Pittsburgh's ahead, 1-0. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Slides it across to Kreider. Oh, and a smart heads-up play. Slides it across to Graves. Centering pass, and that chance is blocked. They score, and that's back-to-back -back snipes. Well, it feels like there's a wave of a momentum, and it has certainly changed here. You can get the opportunity, but you have to execute. That's two in a row.
Pittsburgh's on a roll tonight. Now they've extended the lead to two. They're on a roll, and you can see it in their body language, the way they're communicating on the bench. When you're winning and you're feeling it, everything's alive. Rust's got the puck. Takes the shot, and he's got the answer for that one. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. The Penguins now lead by two. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Too much congestion in front. Feeds the puck across to Miller. Directs it on over to Truba. Here's a short pass to Kako. Slips the pass in front. Picked off in front. Across the line, down the left wall. Here's a feed in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Blistering shot. And that's off target as it hits a body. Let's it go. Kicked away. They just keep coming in waves here in the offensive end. Quick feed to Kako. Sends it out in front. And that's stopped. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Here in the late going of the frame, Pittsburgh's got a 2-0 lead. The frozen biscuits dropped and we are back underway here. Moves it to VC. Sends the pass over. With possession along the wall. Fires it! Up to the challenge as he gets his pad on it. Casey's working it around in the corner. Oh, win it perfectly. What a save. The Rangers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Great defensive effort with the stick. Just a plug the squeeze here in the offensive end. The fans are all over it. Comes up with a stop. And that concludes the second period of play. Still one more period of regulation time. We'll see what happens in the third next. Thank you, fans, for joining us in the campaign to save energy. Two down, one to go. Third period, they're ready to drop the puck. They have dropped the puck here in the third. Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts. New York's up against a hot goaltender, James, and you know when a goaltender's feeling it, you're going to have to get them moving laterally, and so they're going to have to find a way to go east-west and know exactly when to fire that puck. Grabbed along the board by Gensel. Puck picked up by Zabinijad. Kreider's going to play it against the half wall, and that's picked up in the defensive end. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Here's a chance! Scores! The captain delivers! I'd like to call this a quiet shot, James. What that means is the goaltender can't see it. So he's listening for it, and it buzzes right by him because he cannot catch up to it, can't find it with his eyes, and can't find it with his body. Pittsburgh's performance tonight still showing no signs of let up here in this third period. Well, they've had such an impressive performance, James. It's been dominant in all areas of the ice, and there's been no lag or no let up. The message has been clear by the coaching staff as well as everyone on the bench. Keep pushing. Moves it quickly over to Wheeler. Does it again with the stop. I'm not sure if anyone's helping him out there, but he's dialed in and doing it all himself making consecutive saves. Quick shot. Tremendous stop by Shesterkin. They go on the attack through center. Fires it on net and kept that one out of the net. Jari's been able to watch the game for most of the night from the other end because of the offensive production in the offensive zone, James. But he's a real good job there. Timing is everything. Staying focused, tracking the puck, and making a good save at the right time. The Penguins win the draw here in their own end. Jari's got the puck and hangs on for a whistle here in this third period. Well, he's been outstanding all game, James. He's the reason why his team is leading in this one and elects with a good decision to get the face off. New York's had countless shots throughout the night, but they still find themselves behind the eight ball here in period number three. The Penguins gain possession in their own end. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. 
And let's see what the call is. Well, you're down a bunch of goals here, James, and really you take the penalty because you're chasing the game and you want to get back into it, but this one, this one's a tough one to take. Well, with earlier success on the power play, I think they'll operate in the same fashion, James, in that 1-3-1 setup where they look to work through the flanks because you know they've got some lethal shooters on this team. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. And he slides it quickly to Brodzinski. Shot! Oh, what a save by Chari! And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Still some precious time left on this power play as they get set to drop the puck. Pittsburgh's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. And now he moves it quickly to Carter. Passes it over to Eller. Pittsburgh's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Slides the puck down low. A chance in front! And a huge stop by the goaltender at point blank range. That's a great save as he drops into the butterfly. You want to make sure that you take away the top. Oh, oh, trying to gain a step. He's clear. Oh, absolutely clutch at the stop. Oh, you got to love this stuff, James. The game within the game. And this is a one-on-one -on -one battle. And this goaltender, he knows exactly where he's at. And he wins it. Goodrow's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. Some would say it's not a big deal as they have a comfortable lead. And oh, the save on the play! Whoa! Oh, that's Grand Larceny, James. I mean, he just stole one away from his opponent. What a save. There's the whistle as the net comes off. Here in the back half of this period, the Penguins have dominated this one to this point. They lead it 3-0. Here's the Sabinijan's quick stick lands from the puck here at center. And it's a quick pass to Kreider. Takes the bump but still hangs on to the puck. Kreider's got it behind the net. Quick pass to Wheeler. Oh, it comes up with nothing on the play. Sometimes when you have the puck on your stick in a primetime scoring area, it's not about threading the needle. And when you try and thread it, sometimes you miss. And that's what happened there. Good pass out front. Another pass. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Official blows the play dead as the puck goes out of bounds. While we have a moment, let's send it down rinkside with our own Carlin Bave. Malkin's getting my vote here, guys. I know it's been a tough night offensively for both of the players that we highlighted, but I think he's been effective even without getting on the score sheet. What a chance, but can't finish! Well, you gotta make good on a chance like this. This is deflating, James. You don't even put it on the net and test the goaltender. That's a huge miss. Down the left wing, they gain the zone. Puck grab by Gustafson. The Rangers played along the wing. Good reach of the stick to knock the puck away. Good use of the body on the play. With the steal. Gains the zone. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. The Rangers gain possession along the wall. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. And that goes off a player. Tries to get the puck over to Latang. Now a quick pass to O'Connor. And he takes the feed. Jostled off the puck. Oh, he got hammered. It looks like there's a piece. He's a ball. He goes right up the post. Pass back to the point. Oh, at the buzzer, a big save. And there it is. This one's all over. Well, as a former defender, these are your types of games, right? The old goose egg. Love the goose egg, because you know that the D did something well, too, don't you, James? But no, <laughs> yeah, you got to give the credit to the goaltender. You get the zero, you put it up on the board, you know that he was dialed in. I love the way he was tracking the puck in particular. You knew that he just saw it tonight. Thanks so much for joining us. We had a great time. Hope you did, too. For all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Sabalski. Good night.